Hey, thank you so much for joining us on this 4th of July and your treat right now. We have Chef Graham Dodds in house. Yeah, I, I need do. a bite because the viewers need to know exactly what it tastes like. And I'm pretty good at this uh, through my facial expressions. Hold on. Yep. Mm. So it's a fresh corn puree. It's a little sweet. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay, North Texas, I see what you're doing. But you kind of have a interesting history, though, because you were telling me how your parents are from England. Yeah, my and parents are British, so I'm kind of a mutt. Has that influenced your cooking? Yeah, I think Britain gets a bad reputation with the food, but I think... Uh, well, when you <laughs> have things like well, Marmite, yeah. yeah. I have never had any good barbecue in Texas. Uh, Fight me! What? Send, send the hate mail, whatever. No, I'm, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. That's where the best barbecue is made. It's the barbecue capital mm. of the world. But St. Louis people think that they have barbecue. There is no such thing as St. Louis barbecue. I just want to set the record straight. So that's some more trash talk from my STL people. Out Are you taking a page out of However, Kansas City's book? Because you know we do the sauce. Well, I'll tell you that. I'll, I'll come back to that. However, great barbecue, if you're cooking it right, you don't need sauce. That's, right. That's a fact, so I can't wait to taste this moist, juicy brisket. Larry, how you gonna get it before me? Louder. You're not just take the mic I'll from just me. Just help me. Yeah. I'm trying to eat. You do yeah. your thing. Yeah. <laughs> so now that we have the Kansas City expert here telling us all about brisket. No, they did it right. Are we holding it down? Smokey John's did it right. And they've got great Yelp reviews and all of that. Oh. Hey, we need to make it over here to the <clears throat> Dallas Grilled Cheese Company. Because I've been wanting Yum. to try this place for a while now, so I can't, oh, oh. Just appreciate this, just, oh, oh. That's a classic. Mm. Right? That's right. Okay, so Nico's back That's with right, us. Right Nico's right um, yeah. You already know what I'm gonna do yeah. with this, yeah. Kirsten. Okay, <laughs> ready? It's got a nice little spice to it. It's not gonna kill you, but exactly. it, it gives it that punch that you yeah. need. Breeze's puffs at the bottom so the milk absorbs a peanut butter chocolate flavor. Then I put cinnamon toast crunch so the cinnamon gets in there. Then I put golden grams on top because they can't withhold the milk for very long. It gets soggy. That is the perfect combination. You're welcome. Used to, right? don't okay. they? Okay. Yeah. So we've got chorizo. Mm. And Melissa almost got arrested getting us these tacos apparently, so she's gonna tell us a story <laughs> after the break. Breaking news on that. We'll be doing midday today when we're doing tacos with grasshoppers. Oh, no, 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 okay, I'm done now. Bye. Get ready. Get ready for Get that. Ready for that. All right. I don't have time for this today, Kara. That's nasty. You put my whole up. Welcome back to News 8 Midday, a diet that reduces heart disease, strengthens bones, and joining me to discuss those benefits and share an easy recipe is Aglea Cremezi, Julia Child award-winning chef of the cookbook Mediterranean Vegetarian Feast. Got an idea of how to make this, yes. but chef, I have to try it because oh, it absolutely yes. smells delicious. Absolutely, and absolutely. It looks so far. healthy. My doctor would be so proud of me. And then, hold on now, let me talk about Five Guys for a second. What place do you know lets you have that many toppings for free? That uh -huh. means that their meat has no flavor. That's why you get the pickles and the, <laughs> fry, you know, the onions and everything on there. I'm like, come on, really? It does. It's big. It's fifteen dollars for the burger, but there's no flavor. So a lot of people do turn to box meals. They're quick. Yes. You are a mother, yes. working mom. But let's talk about some of your worst kitchen disasters. I want to know what actually qualified you to be on this show. Fires. Fires. Yeah, yeah. You're going from dirty rice in the box yes. to elaborate meals. If you haven't seen the show, I mean, they create some pretty decadent things. I mean, what about that? I mean, how did you handle that? With lots of prayer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, here's the, here's the test right here. I'm, I'm a quarter German. Oh. My grandfather's last name, Volker, okay? I'm not lying. Mm. Mm. Oh my. Now mm. that tastes fantastic. And you'd pair this with a beer, I would imagine. But food is really what's at the top of everybody's mind right now, at least mine. We got to sit down and eat with Giordano's. I was gonna tell you a joke about pizza, but I figured it was too cheesy. Since we're using all that cheese, okay, I gotta tell I'm a joke. I'm stealing that one. What? Oh my. <laughs> There's wall burgers down here. We've got fuel bar where these bartenders do these kind of acrobatic tr trips. You know it's New Year's, girl. Well, anyway, we've got a lot of exciting stuff to show you, and we'll get back to that soon. Brian and Kirsten, over to you. Thanks, Demetria. <laughs> I love that Giordano spot. You know, if you have a Giordano's Pizza Pizza, like right now, if you had one. Um, cooked in? Is that some parsley there? Yep. Okay, can, I, can I get in there, Chef? Can I, can I get in there? Oh. Super tender. Oh, it's so tender. Oh. Mm. I'm glad. Mm. <laughs> this is a big piece of Texas beef. It's a lot Good of beef. Bite. We're giving, Greg, please take over for me now. Help me out, help me. Let's say you grab a bag of chips or something. It'll say zero grams of trans fat with a little asterisk on the side of it. And that means that I believe there's 0.5 grams of trans fat in a serving, which is what, like 18 Cheetos, let's say, for example. But who eats just 18 Cheetos? You're eating the whole bag, which is probably like 200 something Cheetos. And so by that time, you've ingested more than the recommended dose of trans fats. Truly, there is no recommendation to eat them because all it does is clog your arteries.